In the relatively short time our species has existed, countless societies have risen and fallen. It's incredible to see the progress they have made and what they were able to achieve before their societies fell. From the earliest inventors to empires that controlled most of the known world, here are history's 15 most advanced ancient civilizations. Number 15. Sumerians The region of Mesopotamia, which is modern-day Iraq, along with parts of Turkey, Syria, and Kuwait, have been home to a number of highly advanced civilizations throughout history. But the very first to emerge were the Sumerians, who took hold during the early Bronze Age around 8,000 years ago. Historians regard them as one of the earliest known civilizations on Earth, and they were the first to build urban centers that were supported by farmland around them to provide all the food and resources that the citizens needed. While on the surface it may seem as if they were an agrarian people, spending most of their time working the land, they were also arguably way ahead of their time. It's the Sumerians that are, for example, believed to have been the first to invent the wheel. While they were also the first civilization to look into the heavens and chart the positions of the stars. It's based on this work that many of the constellations and signs of the zodiac that we use today have their origins, but this wasn't the greatest legacy of the empire. They also created one of the first forms of writing that's been successfully translated in modern times along with a form of arithmetic. With these, they would develop the world's first schools and educational institutions, which at the time would have been located within each city's main temple. Number 14. Harappan Civilization First developing around 5,000 years ago, the Harappan Civilization, which is also often referred to as the Indus Valley Civilization, was the most widespread community in the region at that time, controlling lands that stretch between modern-day Afghanistan, Pakistan, and much of India. Harappan life was based around the Indus River, which created fertile lands along its banks and allowed them to support much larger populations than had previously been possible. While technically classified as a Bronze Age civilization, the Harappans developed technologies and techniques far ahead of their time, including the idea of urban planning, using baked bricks to build their houses and, crucially, complex drainage and water supply networks. They also had a written language and established long-distance trade networks, meaning they were some of the first to bring materials they needed to them, rather than relocating. Some Harappan cities were home to as many as 50 or 60,000 people, and across the entire region some estimates believe there were as many as 5 million people who were aligned with it. Archaeological surveys have so far found the remains as many as a thousand Harappan towns and cities, and it seems as if every time a new expedition sets out, they find evidence that forces a re-evaluation of just how large and advanced these people truly were. Number 13. Egyptians Ancient Egypt was one of the longest-lasting and most advanced civilizations ever known to exist on Earth, and some of their achievements are simply unbelievable. First emerging around 3100 BC in northern Africa following the unification of smaller tribes throughout Upper and Lower Egypt under the rule of Menes, the founder of the first dynasty, the empire only truly broke up when it was taken over by the Romans in 30 BC. Incredibly, the ruler at the time, Cleopatra, lived at a time that was closer to modern day than the time at which the pyramids of Giza were built, which is a testament to just how long ancient Egypt thrived for. Most of the civilization's success was due to the waters of the River Nile that provided fertile land for agriculture and created a lush landscape far different from the sandy environment that it is today. With plenty of available food and water, Egyptian society was able to focus on other pursuits such as exploration, research, and education. They were the first civilization to build huge monuments like the pyramids, which remain to this day a marvel of engineering. While they also had a surprisingly advanced understanding of medicine, mathematics, and physics, which led to their ability to treat complex diseases, build ships, and develop large construction projects, such as creating canal networks like the world had never seen before. The Egyptians were also one of the first to develop an appreciation for art, writing, poetry, and various other forms of culture, with many of their creative pursuits influencing those that are done to this day. Number 12. The Inca Developing surprisingly late in the year 1200, the Incan Empire was the largest pre-Columbian empire to exist in South America. They eventually were overrun by the arrival of the Europeans in 1542, but had that not happened, it's quite likely they'd still be a dominant force today. They took control of large regions of the continent around the Andean Mountains through both violent and peaceful means. 
and at its largest stretch between Peru, Ecuador, Bolivia, Argentina, Chile, and Colombia. What's seen as particularly impressive by this feat is that with no contact with the rest of the world, the Incans didn't have a system of writing, know how to use iron or steel, have access to draft animals or even use the wheel, but used a variety of other methods instead. They used knotted strings to keep records and communicate, for example, and had a goods exchange system instead of currency, and built a vast road network to the farthest reaches of the empire to significantly shorten travel times. They were highly spiritual, which is what drove most of their developments, such as the ability to build such large and complex structures and develop a deep appreciation for crafts and arts, with some of the finest examples of ceramics that have been found anywhere in the world. Of all the historical civilizations, it's the Inca that were cut short before their time by the superior strength of invaders, and it's a great shame the world never got to see just how advanced they would have become if that hadn't happened. Number 11. Phoenician the Phoenician civilization, which mainly controlled lands along the Mediterranean coastline of Lebanon around 3,000 years ago, first rose to prominence following the collapse of most of the region's Bronze Age societies. Organized into city-states, these were the first people to develop a trade network throughout the known world, having leveraged their superior shipbuilding skills to enable them to use marine routes that others weren't yet able to access. This maritime network led to them becoming one of the dominant commercial powers through the region for at least a thousand years and the records from other civilizations at the time all mention their dealings with the Phoenicians. They were long believed to have been a fabled, long-lost civilization, and a concerted effort in the 20th century led to a number of archaeological finds that proved their existence. Now known to have had the world's oldest alphabet that's so far been discovered, as well as making significant advances in shipbuilding, navigation, agriculture, government, economics, and trade, Many modern-day Western civilizations can trace their structural foundations back to ideas that were first proposed by them. Number 10. China Humans had long been present in the land that we now know as China before recognizable civilizations began to establish themselves, so it's perhaps no surprise that it's there that one of the oldest known societies developed. The first villages are believed to have formed around 7,000 years ago, and these soon began to group together to become the civilization we now refer to as ancient China. Regarded as one of the cradles of civilization, Chinese dynasties made some of the most important and influential discoveries in human history, with the first written text dating as far back as 1250 BC, which mentioned the Xia Dynasty that ruled between 2070 and 1600 BC known for elaborate artistic works such as ceramics that were the natural progression from bronze artifacts. Ancient China was also a violent place, so encouraged the development of increasingly powerful weapons, including gunpowder. Some of the world's greatest thinkers such as Confucius and Sun Tzu were the product of the Zhu dynasty, while the civilization embarked on huge construction projects of its own, building the Great Wall of China, which is arguably the only monument on Earth that's comparable as an achievement as the pyramids in Egypt. Through each of the dynasties of ancient and imperial China, countless scientific, cultural, and theoretical discoveries have been made, and it's amazing to think that the dynastic rule only actually formally came to an end in 1911. Number 9. Rama Empire Very little is known about the Rama Empire, which is believed to have emerged in India around 6,000 years ago. It had originally been thought that the region hadn't been inhabited much prior to the arrival of Alexander the Great in the 4th century BC, but as archaeologists began uncovering more and more ruins, it became clear that there had once been a vast empire that had a surprisingly advanced understanding of the world around them, and were likely present at a similar time to the Harappans. In a similar way, they used concepts of town planning to develop their cities in ways that made them far more efficient and pleasant place to live in and there are signs that they were one of the first nations to truly value cleanliness, with evidence of baths in each house. Despite their clear dominance over their land, what's most mysterious about the Rama Empire is how quickly they vanished. Some think they fought with and were incorporated into the Harappan Empire, while others have suggested they may have moved elsewhere and set up a new community that's yet to be found. Number 8. Akkadians Following the collapse of the Sumerian civilization around 4,000 years ago, it was quite some time until another large and organized society began to develop, but the next, which formed a few hundred years later, were known as the Akkadians. Based around the city of Akkad, the people exerted their influence across all of Mesopotamia, not only through trade, but by sending military expeditions to the furthest reaches to repel any others that might have been planning on advancing towards them. 
With Sumerian and Akkadian as their main languages, they're the first civilization known to have been bilingual and not only developed a vast road network that connected different regions, but also created one of the world's first postal services. The Akkadians developed their written language and built some of the first libraries as places to store their knowledge, which had the consequence of increasing their demand for further information. As a result of this, they collected vast quantities of data on astronomical observations, which in turn led to the development of a rudimentary calendar based on the movement of objects in the sky. So vast were the developments that the Akkadians made to the Mesopotamia landscape, their mark would be seen far beyond the civilization's downfall, and despite it all eventually coming to an end because of a failed military conquest, the Akkadian kings were highly revered by the subsequent civilizations that thrived in the region. Number 7. Osirian The Mediterranean as it is today is wildly different from how it was thousands of years ago, and researchers have found some evidence of at least 200 ancient cities submerged beneath the waves. Some of these are thought to have belonged to the Osirian civilization, a society that predated the ancient Egyptians when the River Nile took a different route through the Osirian Valley before reaching the Mediterranean Basin, which at the time was a large expanse of fertile land where it created a huge lake. Believed to have been the precursor to the other advanced civilizations in the region, the Osirians were highly advanced for their time, with the technological capabilities of transporting huge rocks to build large structures, and even the engineering knowledge to construct buildings that could withstand earthquakes. A lot of the stories that are told of the Osirians blur with theories of ancient alien visitors and the mythical city of Atlantis. And while the actual evidence doesn't support some of the more outrageous claims, such as the idea they used electricity and had flying machines, there's no doubt they were far more advanced than surrounding nations. It was only following a turbulent geologic period that caused the waters of the Atlantic to flood the Mediterranean basin, that the Osirians were forced to flee their land and sow seeds for countless other civilizations, and it's hoped that one day the remains of their cities can be more fully investigated to learn more about them. Number 6. Minoan the Minoan civilization, which formed on the island of Crete around 3500 BC, was a Bronze Age society that's seen as the first advanced civilization to have taken hold in Europe. Archaeologists have found extensive ruins across the islands that suggest highly advanced construction techniques, such as the ability to build large four-story palaces, as well as the development of a written language and a love of art. The largest known remains are those of the palace at Knossos, which is where the labyrinth that supposedly held the mythical Minotaur can be found. Due to their position in the Mediterranean, the Minoans were in the ideal place to be at the center of trade networks around the region, and used this to extend their influence through Egypt, mainland Greece, and beyond. While Minoan writings have been discovered, they can't yet be translated, so there's a lot we don't know about their societal structure. They are believed to have been a monarchy, though, and worshipped many different gods in a similar way to the Greeks and Romans. Their cities were connected with road networks, they had sewage systems with pipes made of clay, and they had countless different styles of art, from frescoes and paintings to pottery and sculptures. Quite what happened to the Minoans is not entirely clear, though, as they appear to have vanished around 1100 BC during the Greek Dark Ages. It's been suggested that this could have been the result of an invasion or the eruption of a nearby volcano on Santorini. But until more evidence is found, we can't be certain what it was that brought down one of the most historically well-known and fabled societies in the region. Number 5. Babylonians During the time of the Akkadian Empire in Mesopotamia, a small state developed around 1894 BC, which was based around the town of Babylon. Following the collapse of the Akkadian civilization, Babylon began to expand and it took over from the Akkadians in southern Mesopotamia as the dominant society. Constantly battling with Assyria to the north, Babylonia retained the Akkadian and Sumerian languages and was itself a relatively short-lived civilization, but in that time the people advanced cultural pursuits and scientific discoveries a great deal. They were keen astronomers who applied mathematical techniques to document how the length of sunlight differs throughout the year, and were the first to suggest the idea of Venus being a planet after watching its movement through the sky over a period of 21 years. The Babylonians were also one of the first cultures to develop recognizable concepts in medicine, such as diagnosis, prognosis, a physical examination, and prescriptions. And while they still believed there was a deeply spiritual element to illness, they also developed some of the first known topical ointments with active ingredients. 
Most towns and temples had libraries, which meant that the privileged members of Babylonian society were well-read, which helped them share knowledge between communities. Despite falling back to being a small state following the death of the first king, the Babylonians had a significant impact on the world and were mentioned a number of times in the Bible and referred to by countless other civilizations in the subsequent centuries. Number 4. Greece the ancient Greeks were a civilization that developed in the wake of the Greek Dark Ages, which ended around the 9th century BC to around the year 600 AD. Often regarded as being the cradle of civilization in Europe, thanks to the advances that were made that have influenced virtually every nation since, there were four main stages to ancient Greece. The Archaic Period, which is when the city-states began to recover from knowledge that was lost during the Dark Age. The Classical Period, which is what most of us think of when we are talking about Ancient Greece. The Hellenistic Period, that ran between the end of Alexander the Great's rule and when Greece was taken over by the Romans. And finally, the Roman Period. Across these periods, Greece was responsible for some of the greatest advances of human knowledge and understanding to have ever taken place. From philosophy, literature, music, art, and religion, to mathematics, physics, technology, economics, and politics, all the foundations of what we consider to be modern society have their roots in Greece. It wouldn't even necessarily have been that way had the Romans not taken over, because it was their reach across Europe and the world that took Greek ideas with them and transformed the development of civilization forever. Number 3. Maya Originating around 2000 BC in southern Mexico, the Maya civilization became one of the most powerful, advanced, and influential in the pre-Columbian Americas, first beginning with the formation of small communities that worked together on the land. The cultivation of crops such as maize, beans, and chili peppers helped provide enough food that the first cities began being formed by 750 BC. Within a few hundred years, resources had become available that allowed members of society to focus on research and learning, and this enabled the Maya to build huge monumental structures, as well as to gain a deep understanding of astronomy, metallurgy, and design. Known to have spoken as many as 30 different languages, historians view the Maya writing system as one of the most remarkable achievements of pre-Columbian South America. The earliest examples date back to around 300 BC and is a logosyllabic system, in a similar way to Egyptian hieroglyphs that represent phonetic sounds and therefore spoken words. Number 2. Natufians Of all the ancient civilizations, it's the Natufians that we, today, arguably have the most to thank. Developing around 15,000 years ago in the eastern Mediterranean region of Western Asia, the small society founded a settlement near to where Jericho is in Palestine today, and began to deliberately cultivate various crops on the surrounding land. This is the first time humans are known to have done this, and there's also evidence to suggest they were the first civilization to have made bread, based on structures that archaeologists found at a 14,000-year-old site in Jordan. Perhaps most importantly, though, is that the Natufians were also the first known society to have learned to produce alcohol with the evidence of beer production being found in a cave in Israel. Beyond these important discoveries, they created rudimentary artworks from sculpting rocks, are known to have buried their dead with trinkets to take them with the afterlife, and are also believed to have been instrumental in the development of the practice of keeping domesticated dogs as pets, with the remains of some having been found buried alongside their owners. Number 1. Rome the world has seen countless civilizations over the past 20,000 years, but the one that's undoubtedly left the biggest mark on history was the Roman Empire. Originating in Rome in Italy in 753 BC, it began as an expansive empire from 509 BC, when the original Roman Kingdom was overthrown and became the Roman Republic soon becoming an unstoppable military force, something that became possible because of the technology that was acquired from nations they invaded, as well as meticulous training and a highly effective societal structure. The empire took control of the Mediterranean world and set its sights even further. By the time of its collapse, it had become the largest empire covering the greatest area of land of any civilization and it's because of the structure and culture that they brought with them that so many of the countries and former Roman territories have similar languages and constitutions. Roman academics advanced the ideas of a democratic system, which was made up of a senate and elected officials before they were overthrown and replaced by emperors in 27 BC, and their philosophers significantly advanced the field. 
Due to the need to cover varied terrain, Roman engineers learned various different construction techniques, which led to the development of the famous Roman roads, but also buildings that were able to withstand earthquakes and even structures that could divert the flow of rivers. Their culture, too, changed the world forever, from their obsession with sports and literature to their love of art, performances, and entertaining guests. Without the Romans, life would be very different today. And while they may well have used questionably violent techniques to forge their empire, it's benefited us all in the long run. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.